Link 2012. I've got some bad news, guys. Rev Capone is actually gone. Like, I can't see him. Unless he's hiding somewhere. Oh, there's some snowballers up there to randomly turn on the lights. But I'm trying to see. There's no Rev Capone here. There's all these different... I'm the ringleader here. Oh wait, is this a summoning of him? I guess I had issues with this before then. Yeah! No, Rev Capone is here! Look at that! It says found Rev Capone! But where? Is he right here and we just can't see him? Yeah, he is here! How strange! That's so strange. Oh, there he is. There he is. He just dumped up a little high. That's what's up. Okay. Well, that was that was a lot for nothing. Thought we found him though. Okay. What you doing up there, bro? Get back down. All right. Well, whatever. As long as we can still trade with him, I'm glad. Three hundred, right? No, we're off. Yep, we need three hundred. We are low by about twenty. All right, let's go find some zombies to kill them. So we need how many more? 31 more. I wish I could set these things all on fire, that way they would stop causing lag. But oh well. I know I did make it so that away items would despawn faster within the region. Alright, let's go. I need 21 of you. us forever. care about are these coins. Awesome, we got them. We're good to go. <laughs> it's funny how we still get iron and whatnot from them. Because that's one of the drops, the only natural drops, and we just have so much looting. The dough has a ton of looting on it though. What looting twelve? Oh something else. I can't remember. Something had looting twelve. Gotta get going. Gotta go get this helmet. See how good it is. It's gonna decrease our speed, but increase pretty much everything else. So that's nice.
Okay, we're back. Kind of strange. Rev Capone, I don't get why you're up here. Makes no sense at all. Right. 300 coins. Mad Carson? No. Outcast. Come here. Boom. Origins. Protection! VI. Feather falling. Two. That's nice. Fire protection, blast protection, protection, fire protection, respiration, aqua infinity, thorns, and depth shrouded. All really cool enchants. And 42% attack damage. That's what I'm here for. 3,000 for the macula toxin lace scythe. <laughs> Basically, one hit kill everything. Shortcomings. I don't know what that is, but I'm, I really want to get it. And we got Origins, anyways. I'm pretty glad for that. Dark Nose. Chuck Villager. Oh, Chuck Villager has all the cool stuff. What's the most expensive armor set here? 500 for the power set. 1,000 for the hybrid set. Descent plus Rune. That would make sense that that's an expensive set. Legendary plus Rune isn't that expensive, though. <laughs> unbreakable rune set. I wonder if these are all unbreakable. If this is only 250 coins for it. Alright, anyways, so. A bit slower. Oh. Well then, that is uh, not as good as I thought it was going to be. But it gives me a ton of attack damage, so who cares? Let's go see how we can see how we do. Alright, come here, creepers and other things that might not get killed normally. Uh, let's throw a lot of this away. Still three hit kill! You gotta be kidding me! Why am I wasting time on that if there's still three hit kill? Right, we're gonna actually test that again. No, that's wrong. We need to wait for him to actually get the spider attributes. Come on. Still didn't have the spider attributes. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking this was a waste of money. I want to return this. All right, how much does it take to kill you? One, two, three. You over there. One. I actually couldn't tell. Wait, four versus two? Uh, I wonder which one's better. Right, we're going to retry a bunch of these tests. I wish we had a dummy to see how much damage we're doing. Put my junk in here. Alright, come out here. Someone. Creeper like with the helmet on is one, two, three hit kills. You guys are one, two, three hit kill. Okay, both three hit kills. With this on, I know that the uh, skeletons are a full hit kill. So I guess it just improves our attack damage against skeletons. Right, spawn. Oh, it spawns for skeletons. Ah, come on. One, two, three. Yeah, actually, it's still three, more or less. So I am. This thing is 
Oh, it's so bad. It's just good because it has the, the various protection attributes. The 42% attack damage is on your base. It's not multiplicative like a lot of these other things. So, oh well. That's a bummer. That's a huge bummer, actually. So, I really don't know what to do. If I had a wolf, I could probably be able to take down a lot of zombies. Actually, it says Thorns 40. Do I get items if something kills me and I have Thorns 40? Here you go. Come here. I'm going to hold my thing too. Shoot me. Shoot me a few more times. Because if we can do that, then I could theoretically AFK farm the... the... which we'll call it? The coins. Alright, well we're going to have to go find this form zombie right now. In order to test that theory. Even do this in the center, actually. This works. That's too bright. Uh, why glowstone? Why? Come on. Come on! Ugh. Whatever. I guess I'm gonna have to. Where'd my pick go? Where'd my pickaxe go? Actually, like seriously, I must have put it in here on accident. Yeah, it's in here. All right. So I actually do have a lot of normal blocks. So let's go ahead and block this up. Spawns. Come here. Spawn backpack, please. Right. Hey, hey. They do drop items. The question is, are they the kind that I'm looking for? Right, come on. You guys have got to spawn something. Want one to spawn, really. Mm. Alright, well, come over here, zombie. Mm. We're gonna kill one of this. You dropped a coin! Okay. So if I slow zombie spawn enough, then I'll get I guess it would help if I'm in water too. Oh, they all die when they get close. The creepers die when they get close enough. It's a pretty good idea, developer. Right, so a pathway then. I can safely chill while the zombies come up to get me. Go ahead and spawn. Come get me. Alright, will this be enough to sustain me? Is the question. I'm taking a lot of damage.
but they're spawning very slowly at the same time. Yeah, okay guys, well I'm gonna figure out this off camera. Um, we're at the point where I wanted to quit earlier, so I'll, I'll see you guys back later, maybe once I've farmed some coins, you know, just, well, whatever. I'll see you guys later. Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Descent. Uh, wow. I mean, seriously, wow. I have gotten so many coins. <laughs> So each of these rows is worth about 500. Uh, we have one, two, I'd say about four rows. We have about 2,000 coins right here to spend, uh, which is super exciting. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I did here to create this spawn trap in case anybody wants to replicate it. Uh, so first of all here, I have the void chest plate. That's pretty much a must. You gotta be in water with mermaid tears. It also helps to have dark aurora. Medallion of courage is nice, don't need it though. Um, I also have Diamond Legging Protection 4 and Le Diamond Boots with Protection 4. Uh, the most important part though is... One second, one second guys. And I'm back! Wonderful! Okay. Alright, so what did I do here? Uh, actually, first of all, let's get our normal gear on. I have it all stored up in my backpack right now in case I died. Uh, the chance of dying here seems pretty low, but it, I know it's possible. Uh, just because of how close I've been. Um, I mean, you get two rows of hearts down. That's about the, the extent of it. And that's quite a bit. This set of armor is actually really good. Uh, I take barely any damage from it. Uh, I take probably about... 50 to 60% less damage from these guys. And that's why you saw so many spawning when uh, I just got back in here. Uh, is I can handle a lot. This... this build this character can handle a ton right now. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and get everything back in. The nice thing is that it does count as a kill, so I have been getting uh, the saturation from it that I need to stay alive. I just That's a good note. Now, is this... Okay, ask us for fans forward. Uh, let's go ahead and just use some glowstone for now. We've already got some regular blocks. The issue is always breaking these. You can't really break glowstone that easily with what I have on. Okay, so. Let me actually grab a few more of these. What was in this slot? What am I missing? Oh, I am missing some light. I already have a backpack. I guess nothing. <laughs> Oh boy, we have so many items. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and plop most of these in here. So we're going to go ahead and spend a lot of this right now. Now the way I got in and out, I believe, is right here. But I think I'm going to make a hole right here. The reason being is that way I'll be able to easily get the chest. So first and foremost, when we're doing this, you want to cover this in water. Uh, as I was testing it out, I tested it out for about 10 minutes before, you know, going full battle mode. Um, a creeper was lit on fire by my admin diamond and it exploded. So first of all, don't use an admin diamond for this. Only use mermaid tears and dark aura. Medallion of courage isn't necessary. And make sure to put, get the place wired up so in case anything does explode, you'll be fine. Uh, yeah, block everything off, and I guess I just had that one little region there that had a little bit of light to make sure that wasn't completely dark. If it's completely dark, you can't, you can't stand it. They, they'll kill you. Um, but yeah, just have as much protection as possible. That's basically it. <laughs> okay. Let's go get a bunch of coins. And let's go see what we can buy! Because this is pretty exciting. Uh, yeah, we're not quite done with the area, but... It does help to have this stuff early on. Alright. Mr. Rev Capone. Oh boy, this is not so easy. Whoops. Yeah, and this is automatically giving me 10 coins, which is nice. It knows to give me that trade. 
Yeah, this is this is the gonna be the, the annoying part is getting all the coins together and getting ready to buy stuff. All right, just here alone, you know, without going too far, we've already got over a stack of ten coins. Alright, go ahead and put more coins in here. Alright, good, awesome. Alright, there we go. So, I'm going to keep these 10 coins for now. Ah, uh, if I remember right, the Dark Knight doesn't have anything I really want. Oh, he's the Dark Nose. Whoops. But he is kind of cool. Snazzy Particle Command Kit. We already got that. Disco Pants. We already got that. Abomination. Alright. Chuck Villager. You have a rune set for a hundred coins. We have a hundred. We have well over a hundred coins right here. We probably have a thousand coins right here. No, we don't. Never mind. Oh, maybe actually. So a hundred coins. Hundred coins. Yeah, this is strange. Whatever. Okay. Anyways. Yeah, we have a thousand coins right now. Cool. So Justin Villager, Chuck Villager is going to be the one that we're going to go to a lot. I do want to get something from Mad Carson. He has a potion in here. Can't remember which where which one which one it is. Not holy water. This one right here. Oh, it gives them resist. Oh. Resistance is negative, despite description. Okay, so this is really this is gonna be really good for the final boss fight. Oh, I need to break up a hundred coins. All right, sorry, that's okay. All right, all right, perfect. And I want to get this just for the final boss. In I know we're not there yet. But it would be good to have. I'm actually going to take two of these if I can afford it right now. No, I really. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, good. I'm going to take two of these for the final boss fight. Um, Outcast. So, this is really the only other guy that's going to be helpful for us. Outcast. Oh, I just crashed. One moment, everybody. <laughs> 